If the storm can stay off the east coast of Florida and move up with some force into our area, some of the impacts we would have as a contingency would be certainly be an increase in tornado activity, uh, certainly higher winds than if it was a more inland track across Florida, and there can be some storm surge as well, especially down the Grand Strand and Georgetown on all points uh, uh, southward into Georgia. Uh, so that that would be, uh, and, and yet the other thing too is you, we can't entirely rule out a landfall in the Cape Fear area. There's some uh, guidance that indicates that that's possible. However, the most likely scenario at this time is the storm uh, going across uh, extreme eastern Florida, maybe to Georgia and to South Carolina. Whether the Cape Fear experiences direct impacts or not is up to basically two different scenarios, and that equates to where Irma makes its turn. You know, all the models show general northward track with the storm, but some of them will take a little longer for that turn to occur, which would put Florida more so under the, the gun uh, with most of the impacts, which would mean less impacts for us. The other scenario would be is if it could turn a little bit sooner and maybe graze the, the east coast of Florida or remain just offshore, then we could be dealing with a significant storm as it uh, approaches the Carolinas. But uh, in the least, what we do know is Florida is uh, likely going to be significantly impacted by a major hurricane. Big question marks after that.